So we'll get a few names out on the track currently. So the first car you see out of the pit gate in the very smartly prepared Ford Mondeo is that of 307 of the Hudson. Second you'll see is 501 Ray Smith being driven by the... I'm gonna go late because I need to quickly grab my tea, but I'll be back before you guys make a wrap. on back, all eyes on Mr. Starter. Green, green, green. Green flags are up and down, first race of the day for the bangers in total. Ray Smith gets an amazing start, Short Price gets nearly spun around on the home straight and goes into the Armco barrier wall right in front of Mr. Starter. But the racing begins well and truly, a few cars not making at the start just as great. Big hit on turn number one from two cars, Alfie Jenner and uh, Alfie Hudson. So the two Alfies getting involved on short prone for the Dutchman who's travelled across the ponds to race here today. But currently, your leader will be Riley Steven, the three litre Mercedes. Not three litre is in the engine size, it's just team name. Second place will be Will Anderson, 918. He's also a three litre member. And third place will be Ray Smith. One car sat up on turn number one and gets brutally jacked up by Reece Sheckley. Here comes Alfie Hudson, who goes past, and so does Riley Steve. Another car goes in, Alfie Jenner. Big hits on turn number one. Ray Smith puts himself into a wall trying to get involved. The racing is staying decently clean for the bangers, not too much involved. But racing is staying decently clean for the bangers, not too much chaos. I say that and Shorter Prize has been spun around on turn number two. But racing is staying decently clean for the bangers. I say that and Shorter Prize has been spun around on turn number four, courtesy of Ray Smith 501. Alfie Hudson comes through, one of the rentals for the Unlimited here today. He's racing in the two litre banger class later for the world final that's coming up. Basically everyone's on the back straight. Oh, roll over, we'll go red, 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 Mr. Starter, red, red, red. Close them gaps up if we've got anything. Close them up. All eyes on Mr. Starter. Wait, wait, wait. Don't speed up. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to go later because it will sped up. Wait. Green, green, green. Green flags are out a bit of a later start from Mr. Starter. One person slams their brakes on and stops Reese Checkley. So Reese Checkley has already been stopped on the start. So I think that's maybe Alfie Hudson was involved. I don't know what happened there, but all I know is it's probably just a brake check. It's normal in the bangers, but now coming around for the next lap will be Will Anderson, second place, and uh, Riley Seaton first. Third place is was 501 on the lap sheet. I don't know if he still is, but Alfie Hudson comes through, now I'll back mark it in a second as long as they can get past. So Riley Steve still large and in charge in his Mercedes. Goes around the outside of Alfie Hudson and that's him in first place. Well, not first place, sorry my apologies. That's him now lapping him. Second, oh no actually that's Will Anderson. The, t the timing sheet has a, uh, I've looked at the wrong sheet. So it's Will Anderson in first place, second place will be Riley Steve. It's three next time, Mr. Starter. So the three lap board is prepared. And it's already gone out early because that's the next car coming round. So three laps to go for Will Anderson, 918. One car spins around towards the wall with Alfie Hudson. 
who's going on up her. There's a pretty large marker in turn four. There's a head-on and a jack-up between Reese Checkley, Alfie Hudson and Alfie Jenner. Two to run. Will Anderson, large and in charge, but he gets sent into the wall by Reese Checkley. Alfie Jenner, go around. Or not. I'll let that one slide for now. But Reese Checkley puts himself into the home straight wall. One lap to go. Big head on between uh, 501 and Alfie Jenner. But Will Anderson's coming around the back straight, now coming into turn four. Gets done on Oppo, gets put into the Alfie Hudson car. Reese Checkley slams his brakes on and Riley Steve. So it might be Ray that comes around to win it. Oh no, he's been pretty jacked up somewhere, but I think it is Ray who comes around to win it. Yes, it is Ray to come around and win it. Second place will be Riley Steve. And that do be it. Red, red, red. Oh. Sorry I've sounded weird. I've been scoffing into a... a, a... Oh, Alright, Alfie inside. Alfie Jenner outside. Uh, that Merc inside. Shord outside. The other Merc inside. Reese outside. And Ray when he shuts the pit. As you can see, the Unlimited Bangers are now on their rolling lap for heat number two. Heat number three will be directly up and after this heat's probably repair time, if given. So, we'll see to that in a few minutes, but until then, enjoy the racing. Heat number two, on the way. Remember lads, when the pace guard goes, you go. Oh, you're green when it goes anyway, so don't worry. Yes, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's horrid. Green. Green flags are out. Here we go. Arnie John Tone, number three, and on the home straight, big hits on the home straight. Alfie Jenner and number they are involved. Because we're away in racing. Short Brian's going slowly, his Volvo ain't the healthiest after heat number one. But your leader is the rental driver of Alfie Hudson. He spins Short Brian's out on turn number one. He doesn't want him to be in the way. Big lunge from Ray Smith on one of the Mercs and he gets it done. But he also spins around on turn number four. Here comes the robot wars. Alfie Hudson gets stopped. So Reef does uh, Riley Steve head on. And Alfie Jenner just threads the needle so perfectly through the gap. One of the best things you can do in a banger. And so satisfying to do as a driver. He lunges on Alfie Hudson. Does he get past? Yes, he does. Gets stopped by Riley Steve. So change of lead, Mr. Starter, is now Alfie Jenner, the 42 Jaguar, in first place. Second place will be Riley Steve. Still in the DS420. Shots going in on turn number four. Riley Steve gets done head on by Short Brines. Short Brines literally mounting his car and uh, we'll keep a pin. Riley Steve nearly rolling over on turn number four. That was nearly an uh, infield attack, right? Uh, Reese, don't get there at the infield. If Riley Steve can get going again, he will be allowed to continue. But that wire usually grabs the driver pretty firmly here on Ray Watson. Reece Shakely gets done pretty heavily on turn number three, courtesy of Alfie Jenner and Short Brines. But Alfie Jenner is still your leader, and it'll be a black flag for 478 for an infield attack. He was told not to. Although it was actually Reece that was told not to, but I did remind everybody that it was the infield. Sorry about that confusion, but you can't do it on the infield rules are rules, I do apologise. But it'll be five in a minute, Mr. Starter. When Alfie Jenner comes around, it'll be five next time. Someone's sitting on Oppo on turn two. The smallest Oppo area you could possibly imagine. Here's Reshakely on the opposites. Be five next time, Mr. Starter. He's only got three lap boards, never mind. He attacks Reshakely attacks Ray Smith. He spins Alfie Jenner around. But Alfie Jenner still continues. Five laps to go. Both three leader cars. Chilling. I think Riley Seaver's freed. 
So he might be able to continue whether or not he does, I don't know. I think his engine's given up. The four laps to go, three to go next time, Mr. Starter. Help Jenner's caught trouble on turn number two. Alfie Hudson's got past, but I don't think Alfie Hudson is on the lead lap. He is, but he's nearly been lapped. So it's a... Uh... Oh, what's happened there? Turn number four. We'll keep it going, but we'll have a held yellow on that. Please do not attack that shot, drivers. It's pretty dangerously looking. And putting together, and we'll send them rolling very shortly. So then we'll send them away and rolling for the final for the Unlimited Bangers here at Mendip Raceway. Drills in the hill. I think this track was actually built on the hills as you held down at turn number one and two. A massive dip in the track so that makes it very exciting especially when you're watching the Brisker Formula 2 as well. They love to put the bumper in at that corner. Looks like I've upper marked them, but pace begins to roll as the green flag goes down. Follow one, Ray Smith getting a good start there. 961 in second. Then Alfie Jenner. Oh, lean 862 right against the wall. He goes spinning towards the infield. He rejoins in a safe way, though, sliding it round turn one and two. But 5 1 still leads the way. 961 stopped at turn three and four. He's going to spin it round. So 42s now in second, 862 in third. Five one still leads the way. Round the inside, oh 961 completely blocking 862. That's a bit naughty naughty. But he still gets up into third. Five one does him head on and carries on going. Here comes 42. He doesn't get him. But here's 862. Is he going in for the big head on? Yes, he is. Massive head on, and he's put on the fence there. So that's him out of this race. Four one though is dominating with 961. Now stuck at 862. Never mind, he's got three. Four one takes evasive action and goes up the inside. 42 to one outside. Get blocked off by 961 once again. So 42 now goes up for our leader. He was second, doesn't get him. He goes beyond 862 a check, Lee. 961 jacks up. 42. As, here we go. 501 coming round. Turn 3 4. Oh, 961 doing him in the door. And then 42 clipping him as well. But 501 still. Powering through in the old Jag. I was speaking to him before the meeting and said, I think this is going to be the last one, but judging by this, it won't be. Round he comes. Oh, clips 862. And here comes 961 straight into the back of him. That front end of the 860 machine and getting an absolute battering. But there'll be five next time by for 501. Smith, here he comes. Round he comes, 961 going for him, he doesn't get him. 42 clips in, 961 now chasing after him. He's up into third. 51 spins him at turn 1 2. Round he comes for four laps to go, 42 doesn't get him, but here he comes for 961. Doesn't get him, oh, an 862's! Almost knocked out of the fence there, cuts in 961, but there's only four to go. Here comes 5-1, he's gone wide there at turn 3. He's got it past. He's now 3 to go. 961 on the nose. Here we go, he's 42, going to go for 5-1. 961 has got to go for him. As he goes for him, oh, big head on there. That 5-1 jag is going to be destroyed after the DD. But he gets it back going, going the other way. Is he going to spin it back round? Yes, he is. Here comes 42, straight on the nose. 
Four one still goes. Oh, huge hit there, but he's got two to go now. Has five oh one. In goes nine six one and eight six two again. Forty two one to nine six one. Here comes nine six one. Going for five oh one. And big shot from forty two on to nine six one. Five one's going slow now. No, nope, he's got back going. Got past 42. Oh, 42 airtime shot on the nose of 961 Riley save. But last lap now. 4 5 oh, one, right to me. Down the back straight he goes now. Round turn three and four. Alfie Genoa. Oh, big shot there. And then on the nose goes 5 1. Come to 961. But here we go then. 5 1 over the rumble strips. Gets crossed the line and takes the win of the final. We'll go to Red Stokes, please. Mr. Starter, we'll go Reds. This one. Let's begin to rise. Frank Black goes down. Ready at 45. Gets a good start. Nice and funny. Take a second. Who's on up, though? It's going to be 307 on up, but. He's trying to do well for it, but it's a game has been stopped by all. Oh. 307 has some as 862 been turned into by the final one. I think it was a complete stack. 501 in the old jack. Still going well. 961. Attack by uh, 307 as 307 takes out his own teammate, but he still gets a good rejoin. 862 duck. He's still in the lead. He got an 8. He gets stuck by 307. So 862 still leads. Oh, well done, Reds. 